Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to Slay the Spire. So, I've been working on implementing the various, uh, various suggestions and tips you guys have been giving me in the comments below and also what I've been reading up myself off camera. And before we begin, there's just a couple of things I want to want to get out there. One, the Ironclad at first, like, he's got a lot of, like, really powerful cards and stuff, and he's also got this whole healing at the end of combat thing going for him. But I honestly think the Silent is actually possibly, a, like, a borderline, if not straight-up OP character, thanks to her poison. Because I, I actually got a run where I made it all the way to the final boss, at least I think, assuming Act 3 is the final act. Ooh, boy, those bosses are tough. Anyway, yeah, so we got that. Let's see here. Hmm. And our key, I think, is we want to keep our deck as small as possible and only accept, like, the best possible cards. One. And two, we want to get as much poison as possible. And also as many relics or just other things that let us cycle through our deck very quickly. Now, I'm going to also completely go against what I just said, and I'm going to take a rare card. And I kind of regret that. If it was poison, I think that would have been much better. Also, I really undervalue shops, I think. And I'm still trying to figure out to myself whether I should be valuing, like, the mystery stuff over fighting enemies. Especially, like, early in the game. Because I kind of figure, maybe what I want to do is fight as many enemies early on as I can. So I can get as much uh, money as possible and then be able to take advantage of that later. But anyway, let's let's see which path gets us the most... Uh, fire campsite things. Let's see here. So we've got one. We've got two. Alright, so far so good. And... Oh, wow. This one's really... There's like a dearth of campsites on this particular run. I'm gonna go up this way. I figure... Yeah, we'll fight a few more guys. We'll save the merchant stuff for later, I think. Unless we get a merchant in one of these unknown things. It feels like the right play. I hate this guy so much. Well, that's, you know, good way to start the game. I mean, 13 to all enemies, not... It's not a terrible play. Also, defensive play may even be, uh, like, good for us. More so than I've given it credit. It's not necessarily about rushing to the finish line, so much as it is about, you know, destroying the enemy as swift or... Destroying the enemy while taking as little damage yourself. Very, very important key thing. And we don't necessarily need to take new cards from these guys just because, you know, the possibility is there. But we could. That's, that's, uh, the key thing to take from that. Yeah, let's, uh, defend ourselves as best as we can and also continue killing Mr. Jawworm here. Because he's kind of a dick. I really hate him. I really do. Mostly because of all the level, the floor one guys, he seems to be like the, the toughest. And that by itself is not a bad thing, but you know, I'd kinda maybe like some other stuff. And yeah, so we wanna get as many poison cards as possible, but not overflow the deck. Especially if we can get a bunch of cards that like add poison every turn, cause that's like totally a thing. Hmm. Remove a card or get gold. I mean, I don't really wanna lose the health, but getting rid of a card we don't want could be good for us. But no, let's get more money right now. We'll worry about getting rid of cards later. Slowly piecing together what, like, the ideal stratagem should be here. Alright, we probably want to use it on this guy, because we've got that. And let's see here. So that's going to be 12 damage in total. Okay, which means we do need that. And we'll apply a bit of deadly, deadly poison... I get, yeah, to this guy. I mean, he's gonna be dead next turn. Maybe I should have given it to this one instead, but... It's a balancing game. You figure out which, uh... Which things end up being the best for your current situation. I mean, this guy does a lot of status effects. So it might be more important. Possibly. You know what? That flurry attack actually seems to have been really good. Let's see here. A thousand cuts. Whenever you play a card, deal one damage to all enemies. I mean... That doesn't sound terrible, but it doesn't sound good enough to go into the deck that we're trying to build for this run. So we're gonna, we're gonna ignore as many cards as possible here. If they don't 
If they don't do what we need them to do. Actually, maybe I should have opened with this one. Yeah. Yeah, I probably should have. All right. I mean, I, I like the ones that have, like, cards that have zero energy requirement. But then again, it's still a balancing act. Because on the one hand, I mean, yeah, they don't cost you any, any energy and are basically, like, free damage. But they, they do add to the number of cards in your deck. So I think I'm going to skip it. And I'm gonna really make an effort to only pick up cards that'll help us poison our enemies, especially if it's like something like Catalyst, which lets us uh, really bombard our foes. Let's see here, do I avoid damage or do I take this? I guess a little bit of damage won't hurt us. Probably. It's probably for the best, so we'll take it. Yeah, yo yourself, dog. I really don't care much for these fellas. I truly don't. These slavers, but they're... Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, slavers are probably the worst enemy on uh, the first floor. They just suck. In every way, really. But, you know, what you gonna do? You gotta play the hand you're dealt in proper poker fashion. I really need more poison. We don't have enough poison. And that is a problem. And then we'll just stop here because the poison will finish the job for us. And we'll always take potions. I can't think of a reason why I wouldn't take a potion. Let's see here. That's not bad. This is good for getting us some more block and it also helps us cycle through the deck faster. So that's, that's a good card to add to our collection. I think. I think it is anyway. Let's see here. 17 doll enemies. Not bad. And upgrade this from 5 to 8 block. That's good. I mean, the more defense we have, the better we are. Alright, where do we want to go? I mean, do we want to go fight a guy or maybe get something? This is the thing that... This is the hardest part for me to, to figure out is, like, which one I want to do. I think I'm going to... I'm going to go against what I normally do. Which is probably going to cause me to lose the game now. And go ahead. And uh, fight this feller right here. Alright, so a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and yeah, you see, it helps us cycle through our deck that much faster. It means we'll get all the sweet cards back up front, which is exactly what we want, probably, maybe. Alright, so he, he's not really doing anything terrible to us, so we'll do that. I mean, that might have been a good time to use... Ah, I hate Entangled. Damn, I could have even killed him, possibly, this turn. I truly do hate him. But, life goes on. And, oh dear. Alright, we'll throw a, do a sweet flip. We'll, uh, we'll beacon him. Oop, that's not what I want to do. We want to definitely defend, ah, taking one damage isn't that bad, is it? I mean, against, uh, killing this guy. I mean, depending on how our health is when we get to the end. Yeah. Because the important thing, I think, is if we can upgrade most of our cards, then it doesn't even really matter. Well, it does matter, but let's see here. Acrobatics. I mean, again, this lets us draw a bunch of cards, but it doesn't really do anything else for us, so I might skip this for the time being. This is okay. That's also... No, no, I'm, I... I'm gonna regret some of this, probably, because we're not, we're not getting the poison cards I want. But, I mean, we are keeping our deck size small, which I still think ultimately is what we want. So we want to keep our eye open for Catalyst. We want to get more poison cards. I forget what its name is, but there's... Ooh, sweet. That was awesome. But yeah, the more cards we have that give us extra, extra poison, especially if they're ones that give us more poison every turn, then we are... Good to go. Or at least that's what I tell myself. Oh no, I do it. Yeah, do have the exactly what we needed. We've got everything we need. Okay, so he's dead next turn. That's good for him. And then we just need to kill him and jig this guy, which should totally be easy. Or maybe not. Yeah, he's not dead this turn. That's unfortunate, but 
again, life goes on. I didn't really need that either, but I chose to use it. It was good enough. Beautifully done again. And then, as long as we have at least one strike card, he is dead. Good. But we need more than just strikes. We need that aforementioned poison. I mean, this is okay. Yeah. I mean, as long as we can poison enemies, that's an okay card. So we might as well go for it. I kind of wonder if I maybe I should have aimed our path so we could fight some stuff. Let's see, we could heal or we could remove a card from our deck. What do we want to remove? Hmm. Want to remove a defend or an attack? I'm going to get rid of a defend. I don't know if that's going to be the right play, but it feels right to me. I'm going to go this path because then at least we get a, a bit of a mix up between, between stuff. Which may be good, may be bad. We'll find out. Okay, so we've got eight. We could poison him and then do that. Yeah, I mean, this will this will be back next time. Good job. Good enough, anyway. Yeah. I mean, overall, we still have more health than we started with, which is a plus, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. And we'll drop that, then we'll use this, then we'll use that, and again, we are done. More or less. You see, I think I'm getting the hang of this. More or less. I mean, we're doing a bit better than we were. And we're also killamajigging enemies, which is very, very important. And there we go. He is dead, so we don't need to worry about anything else. And boop, he's gone. Which always makes me happy. I like this card as well. Hmm. Mostly because it's like a guaranteed, like, two, uh, two attacks for free. Yeah, we're going to go with more block, though. It feels right. Okay, so we can anger the mushrooms or heal some stuff but get a curse. I don't even know what the parasite curse is. Let's anger the mushrooms. That may have proven to be a mistake. Maybe I should have just fought the enemies. Time will tell. All right. Yeah, this may have been a mistake. Oh well, I mean... Where's that, like, super attack attack that we've got here somewhere? Okay, he's growing. That's gonna be scary. Okay, so we could... We could straight up kill this guy this... No, we can't just straight up kill this guy that turn. That'd be nice. Uh, yeah, I'll drop Bane for now. And we'll... That was... Oh, no, that was actually okay. There we go. So he's dead. These guys are severely weakened. All right. You know, I think I've built a good deck so far. And it's fairly small, so we are cycling through it reasonably fast. That's another, again, another double super life plus move right there. More or less. Sort of. All right. He's going to do 10 damage, so we want another block. And then we... This goes against what I would normally do, but I'm kind of counting on getting that uh, 13 double slash again so I can kill both of them simultaneously, possibly, maybe. Which would be good, as one can imagine. Fortunately, we did not get that this turn. Alright, well. If we can uh, kill him a jig, this guy. Which we just did. Actually, you know what? I made a mistake. I should have used strike on him and then, yeah. Then we would have won this turn. Oh well. Live and learn. Make your mistakes. Make your mistakes, learn from them, and then do better the next time. Good stuff. Alright, they're gone. And we got a mushroom for it. So when vulnerable, we only take 25% more damage instead of 50. And I kind of like what we've got, so we'll leave that. And still no poison. Though, getting a guaranteed free 11... Damage right off the bat seems okay to me, so we'll go with that. Ah, dang, it's a thief. I hate thieves. Fortunately, not like we have much choice here. Hmm. I mean, we've got to kill this guy really quickly, don't we? 
as he's he attacks twice and then runs so yeah kill him kill the slime blob and we are actually doing okay i think we're even we might even be okay enough maybe all right let's uh yeah we're gonna have to take a little bit of damage but we'll be fine of course, I suppose I could have just used a weak potion, saved us a little bit of trouble there, but that's all for the boss. Okay, yeah, see, he's gonna he's gonna make a run for it, so we've gotta gotta kill him. And we do that and take our damage, which is unfortunate, but again, we'll be fine. Hopefully. I might know what I am probably gonna heal up for the boss. Alright, apply a little bit of deadly, deadly poison. A bit of blockage in there. Not that I needed the blockage, I suppose, but. Oh, and there's our energy. Oh, hey! We're strong enough. Yeah, look at that. He's even gonna be dead next turn. We don't even have to play any cards, so we won't. Just immediately drop that. Good stuff. I mean, I'm not getting the cards I want this turn, which is unfortunate. Hmm. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna skip that. That might be a mistake, I'll I'll straight up admit that. This like not healing might straight up be a mistake here. Uh let's see here. I mean doing an extra 15 damage, that's not bad. But let's increase our block. That's probably the most important thing we could do right about now. And we're fighting Blobman. Wonderful. Alright. Okay, get a little bit of poison in there, a little bit of backstabbing in there, a little bit of that in there, we'll drop this, and then we'll stab him again. I mean, if we had a good enough uh, build, we could probably kill him before he even had a chance to split in half. In fact, is he getting ready to split in half right now? No, he can't be. Oh, wait, 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 no, I know what he's doing. He's getting ready to do his, like, super death move. Now, this we're going to want to save for later. There we go. Alright, so he's charging up to do his, like, super laser charging attack. Yeah, Slime Crush. Why are you so uncultured? Do you have, like, a bowler hat and every- oh god. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Gaslight, you idiot. I made a horrible, horrible mistake there. I shall now proceed to pay for it. Let's see, 15... All right, that's as good as it's gonna get, isn't it? Gotta remember, I saved these things for the bosses so I could be doing these things. Yowza. All right, so yeah, again, save this for the boss. All right. I mean, I could chop them in half now, but I feel that would be a waste. I really do. I really don't like this whole draw reduction thing. That's starting to... Starting to bust my cannolis here. Uh, sure, why not? Just, just cycle through the deck. That's probably going to turn out to have been a terrible, terrible idea. All right. Now, in all my testing, it's always better to kill this guy first. I mean, this guy can do a lot of damage to me. But, uh, yeah, this guy needs to die. Okay, there we go. That solves that problem right there. I mean, the wounds are a bit of a problem. I remember, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but I remember being given uh, some advice on how to deal with that. My god, is there just, there's no way for me to win today, huh? Yeah, okay. Yeah, but if I can kill this guy, of course, then again, both of them, yeah, all their attacks cause wounds, so basically, eventually, this entire, this entire thing is going to be, like, nothing but wounds, which is going to make my life that much more difficult, and, yeah, we'll just discard, because why not? It's not like it does anything to us right now, and it's not like blocking can protect us. Alright, so now we just need to kill these guys which should be pretty straightforward. 
This would be so much easier if I actually had poison. I also kind of wondering to myself if it would be easier if I just killed this thing. I think the answer to that is no. No, it would not. So let's, uh, yeah, we'll just chop what we can and be done with the rest. I've got a bad feeling about this. I mean, like, we just, we just didn't get the cards for the build I was trying to go for, so... Kind of got, uh... Kind of got cheated here by our own... Our own poor draw of the cards here. Which kind of sucks. I hate it when that happens. When, you know, you like, you do everything right, but RNG does not seem to be in your favor. I mean, I can't blame it all on just... Yeah, bad luck. But I can blame it partly on bad luck, so I will. As is tradition, naturally. Ah, it's gonna suck. Stupid wounds. I know there's a way to get rid of them, but I forget what it is. And I'm just gonna keep getting more and more. That also sucks. Alright, but you're poisoned, so at least we've got you dealt with. I mean, I guess that's kind of the problem, is that you're, you're up to... The will of the cards here, or of luck. If you don't get the cards you need with the silent, the silent's kind of, kind of rough to play with. But if you do get the cards you want, then some magic starts to happen, which you know is pretty good. Let's see here. All right, good. So we can do some more damage. Excellent. I mean, we we might get out of this alive, but it's gonna be pretty difficult. At least, for the time being, it's going to be pretty difficult because we don't have anything working in our favor right now. Alright, a little bit of deadly poison. And, yeah, I mean, I can, I can afford to take one damage if it kills this guy faster. Yeah, look at that. Good. I really can't wait until we get rid of this stuff. That's going to be nice. Alright, so he's dead this turn. He's going to be chopped in half next turn. Hopefully, all of this starts going away. I mean, it should, little by little. Of course, our entire deck is now literally just wounds, so that's that's pretty rough to deal with. But, I mean, I guess this is the downside of having a, a small deck, isn't it? It's that now we have to deal with the, these shenanigans. But if we survive, at least we get healed to full health, so that's, that's good. But I will admit, I am feeling mildly frustrated here, seeing as... You know, I've, I've had some runs where... You know, I just blow through, but if I don't get the cards I need, then I lose. I mean, that could very well just be an indication that I just need to, you know, get good and all, but... I don't know. It's frustrating when there's like an obvious strategy to use. That, you know, doesn't work if you don't get the right cards. Having said that... We... we have to play what we're dealt, so... Things should be okay. I mean, we're not getting wounds anymore, that's... that's a plus. At the very least. Alright. We might survive this. We might not, though. I've got a good feeling, though. I mean, look at that. The weekend kind of sucks, but... We're getting there. Oh, dear. Let's see. Yeah, th so we'll kill him. Mostly negate the damage, and this is going to be a really close fight. I don't like it. Have we seriously been recording for 24 minutes just on the first floor? Well, I mean, it happens. Yeah, I'm not going to use backflip because I don't want more cards when we're not really going to need them. Wow, 35 cards, most of which are all wound at this point. That kind of that kind of stinks, but he's almost dead at least, so that's a plus. Got to love it when life actually kind of sort of maybe works out for you. Yeah, get go away, Mr. Wound. Then stab him. All right. We're okay. If only we had a relic that let us save some energy in between turns. Not that that would be really necessary, given all the wounds we're taking here, but, uh... Oh god. There better be a strike card next turn or we're dead. 
Oh, I think we get an achievement for this, though. Yes! All right, awesome. Beat the boss with one hit point left. We are truly gods among men. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab the adrenaline. That doppelganger one didn't seem useful enough. Ooh, elites now drop two relics. It feels like a trap, though, doesn't it? Uh, more than six cards. No longer get... All right, I guess this is the, like the lesser of all evils. Doesn't limit us. I'm not ready to get limited yet. All right, so let's again look, see what the fire... Fire order is. All right. So we've got one fire here. Uh, two fires. And then free fire. Wow, there's really not that many fires on this particular run. Hmm. I think I'm going to go up this path because that way we can go to the merchant. That way we can either get rid of a card or maybe buy something. Ah, hell. Yeah, I'm definitely using this right off the bat. All right, please proceed to dive. That's, uh... Actually, kind of good. Except for that. Yeah, this, uh... This run did not work out as well as I hoped it would. Mostly because we are not seeing any poison cards. And... Poison is kind of... Kind of necessary. Alright, so he's dead this turn. Then we attack him. And... Let's see. Yeah. Alright. Alright, though, we have to do 31 damage on this turn or else the mugger's gonna run away. Oh, wait. Nope. No, she's not. She has made a, a terrible error in judgment. I'm gonna get rid of this. Let's see. Defend and then... Yeah. The poison's our best shot. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself. All right, so we gotta do at least 20 damage. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get this uh, this going here. All right, that looks easy enough. All right, bam, we won. We didn't even take any damage. I'm kind of surprised with myself, but I am proud of myself. That uh, why 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 game? I think the flying knee. We're gonna we need some cards that can like get some hits in here. Because right now, we're just not getting it. Remove all strikes, obtain five bites. Let's see, a bite is... Oh, it deals seven damage and heals two HP, but we lose 30% of our max HP. All right, that's good enough for me. Let's see, navigating an unlit street, you come across several hooded figures in the midst of some dark ritual. As you approach, they turn to you in eerie unison. The tallest among them bears fang teeth and extends a pale hand, or a long pale hand towards you. Join us, sister, and feel the warmth of the spire. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, the tall figure grabs your arm, pulls you forward, and sinks his fangs into your neck. You feel a dark force pull into your neck and course through your body. You wake up sometime later alone. An intense hunger passes through your belly. You must feed. Okay. I mean, I figure... That's actually probably gonna gonna pay out nicely for us in the long run. And you are not poisoned, so that doesn't really help us. I mean, yeah, that's that's good. Let's see, seven or seven. I'm also gonna want to upgrade all those bite cards now, aren't I? Oh boy. All right, let's see, yeah. We'll uh, deal a bunch of damage to you, we'll poison you, we'll do a backflip because, you know, because we can, really. And that is that. All right, so he's going to hex us now. I'm not too worried. I mean, I am a little worried. I, I can't lie. All right, so we can gain 16. Just like that. Alright, then we'll uh, neutralize him and also daze him a little bit. I mean, daze is better than strike by, what, is it like one point there? So, plus the healing is going to come in handy, so that's, that's a good thing. 
Let's see here. Boop him. We'll boop him on the head again. And also boop him one more time. Damn it. Wasn't quite able to boop him enough. Most unfortunate. Alright, hopefully we've got a couple of... Nope, we have literally no bites. Dang it. So that ultimately did not help us at all. I mean, the lack of max health is kind of scary. Aha! There we go. Noxious fumes. I mean, you have a couple of those combined with catalyst, and especially if you have a lot of catalysts, and things just go crazy. Yeah, 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 it's the cleric dude again. All right, what do we want to get rid of? I would say we probably want to get rid of the regular blocks so that we get more of, like, the better blocks. At least that's my, uh, interpretation of things. All right, what do you got for me? Let's see here. Receive a relic, 50%. All right. Yeah, I can just sell that at the merchant. What do we get? Ooh, well, that's not bad. I mean, it's not as good as the ironclads one, but it it's still decent. Oh, look, it's a shopkeeper. Let's see here. Every time you play free skill cards, you deal five damage to all... Aha! Energy being conserved. This one's not that useful, in my opinion. So I'm never going to raise my strength over my ever stuff. The noxious poison, that's not bad. But I don't really want any more cards right now. I mean, a 20-card deck. Dang it. Maybe I should have kept the curse and just picked up the ice cream. You know what? Let's, uh... Let's just move on. We'll... We'll assume things are gonna be better. Yeah. Alright. That's good, because now every turn, every enemy gets, uh... More poison. Oh, that's not bad either. Oh, that would have been good to have earlier. Let's see here. Ah, more noxious fumes. Yeah, because this, this really stacks up. Hmm, but then I won't be able to have happy flower. You know what? I'm going to pick up happy flower. Oh, we can actually afford noxious fumes. All right, good. No more cards unless they're like super max tier quality. Let's see. Next two chests you open contain two relics. Well, that sounds fun. Not that we're gonna survive two more, uh, two more chest rooms unless we get really ah hell. Should have just went to the merchant. That well, that was my mistake. Uh, all right. I really hate this thing. Like it, it just, it really sucks. All right. Oh damn it! I forgot that was a thing. And yeah, we'll do a bit more damage to it because why not? Oh boy. Such is life though, isn't it? Alright, a little bit of this. A little bit of that. Uh, ooh, do I bite or do I just heal myself? No, ultimately I'll save more if I do this. That, that's, that was a smart play, I think. I really hate these things. Especially because it's not like I get a particularly good reward from this, do I? Ah, hell. Okay. Well. I can kill this guy. I mean, one way or the other. I mean, if I, well, if I'm gonna kill him anyway, might as well. Kill him that way. Heal up a little bit of damage. And then cry because life isn't fair. Oh well. We're doing... we're doing okay. I don't wonder if I should just use this. Damn, he keeps negating my poison. I really don't like that. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Take that. Take this. And take this. Okay. Alright, we're, we're fine, we're fine. We've... Totally got this, because the poison is what's going to kill him. If we play defensively... Yeah, look at that. I'm going to play defensively and, uh... That'll learn him. Probably. Hopefully. Yeah, I'll just keep letting him get poisoned, because he's going to get five poison every turn. And that should kill him. Yeah, that's... That's how you do it. 
Yeah, see, he's dead. We'll use some bites anyway, just because, because we can. We want to heal up a little. So ultimately, that was a net loss, which makes me sad, but you don't always win. Hmm. I don't know. I might, I might want that. It, it's hard to tell, really, whether I should leave these things alone or whether I should actually be fighting them. And as you can probably guess, most of the time I choose to fight them. Hmm. Should I fight this elite enemy? I'm probably going to regret it, but then again, ah, hell. No gets, no glory. All right. Okay. Oh, good. At least. At least, uh, yeah, we've got all that going. You know what? This thing is worth, uh, the faster you can kill Sneko, the less, or the less pain you're ultimately going to suffer. I really hate this perplexing glaze. Glaze? What is he? Is he a cake? Apparently. Ah, oh, heck. Well, at least this is free. Yeah, take some poison. I mean, he, he's almost dead. Which is good enough for me. That's less good. Hmm. This is a bad idea. I don't know why I did it. Probably because I'm an idiot. I mean, 18 damage. You know, to be honest, I think Sneko wouldn't be so bad if he didn't do a lot of damage, but if he did like a lot of like really weird, wacky maneuvers that affected one's survivability. Like if he did a bunch of weird status effects. You know, aside from this perplexing, perplexing glaze here. You know what? I'm just going to keep calling that. It's a perplexing glaze. It's very glazy. Not a single poison or a uh, vampire move. Aha, there it is, but I can't afford it. Damn it. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, that energy's gonna be useful, and I don't actually want any of these cards. Again, they're good. Well, this one's... Ah, what the hell. I might regret that. And you know what? I am gonna do it. I'm gonna have to heal up... Oh hell. Why did I pick this guy? Oh boy. That was a bad play right there. Don't mind admitting that right off the bat. I mean, that was like possibly the worst thing I could have done. If I had more cards, I'd probably even use that. But I didn't. And now I regret everything about my life because this thing, this thing, yeah, it just keeps getting worse. The longer you let it live, the, the worse it becomes. All right. I mean, I will poison him to death, eventually. Oh good, I actually have enough to do that, and I can do some of this. Oh good, that actually almost completely neutralized it. That would have been a good time to use that energy potion. Ah, shucks. Ah well. Yeah, you figure out what to do with your life as you go forward, don't you? Hmm. Heal up. Heal up. Probably should have healed more. Or defended myself. Wait a minute, this is... Yeah. Kind of want to save that for the boss, but... You know, this was... This was the right time to use that. And yeah, the faster I kill it, the better. Healing would be good, but yeah, we definitely need to kill this thing. ASAP-like. Or else we are dead. And if we are dead, then I am not happy. And if I am not happy, then, well... Life's not looking very good now, is it? Oh, come on. I get all this energy and I have nothing to actually play with it. Okay, so that's going to do 16 damage. We're okay. But yeah, see, this is good. If we had Catalyst, we could like triple that if we had it upgraded anyway. Or just doubled, but tripled. Tripled is where it gets real nice. Can I actually kill this thing this turn? I can. All right. You know what? That actually ended up being mostly a net neutral. I think we're a little bit less on health. But we get marbles. 
Uh, let's see here. I like that. Hmm. That's also good. Yeah, you know what? I need more block. We want a, a build that's like very block heavy. But at the same time, I really should not be... I hate you so much. We really should not be fighting these things. Don't know why I would poison myself, to be honest with you. But uh, we totally could, I guess. But again, I don't know why we would. Okay, good. So he's already mostly dead. Does enough for me. Yeah, look at that. Good enough. Uh, is he going to attack? He is going to attack. That's scary. Uh, yeah, more more backflip. That's going to do 21 damage to me. Which tells me I am screwed. Do I just start the pain train now? And just accept my punishment? I think the answer to that is yes. We have to. I mean, I've got to kill it faster. The faster I kill it, the less pain and suffering we ultimately we ultimately experience here. Uh, he's going to do another 21 damage to me, and I am not prepared for that. Yeah, this is going to be a net loss. But fortunately, he should be should be dead next turn. All right, at least we can gain bit of health back from this. Maybe a bit more. There we go. Oh, look at that. We even killed him without needing any of this stuff. Not great, I'll be honest with you, but not terrible. And not, again, good cards, but let's skip them. I've, I've definitely built this deck probably, like, it's too big for our purposes. Alright, who are we fighting here? Ah, this guy. I hate this guy. Oh, and he's even immune to poison. Thanks a lot, game, for building up... Yeah, for building an entire build that apparently exists solely as a giant F you to me. I know, I know you did it. I know that's why. Yeah, I'm gonna save this for when he does his, like, hyper mega death beam of death. I also hate these things. They suck a lot. Alright. Let's see here. I mean, the biting should let me heal a little bit. I mean, who do I focus on killing? That's another good question. Do I take out these guys or just focus on him? Hmm. Or do I just heal myself? Huh. <sighs> so hard to tell sometimes to be... Wait, I had one energy... I keep doing that, I don't know why. But I always... I use one energy that I really did not need to use. Or I don't use it when I should have. Terrible play right there, really. Well, at least we're poisoning enemies every turn, so that's a plus. It might... It might, uh... Might save us. You know what? I should focus on killing these things. Like, when I kill this guy, he's gonna give me a bit of free energy back, so that's good. And this guy's about to use his, like, super hyper mega death glare. Yeah, look at that. More poison's gonna get added to them in a second. Or more poison? Or I guess it'll... Oh, okay, that's that's not terribly bad. Not good, though. Wanna get that out there. Actually really bad. Alright, so I'm almost completely blocking that. And yeah, I'm gonna... Focus on trying to kill these guys a little bit. You know what? Actually, this would have been better. Oh well. I make mistakes. Sue me for it. Actually, please don't. Oh, and he stole my backflip. That'll be good to get once we kill this thing. I mean, as you can see, we just keep adding more and more poison to him. Which, uh, okay, so this guy's gonna die this turn anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Uh, I'm gonna woke, or woke, I'm gonna work on killing you. I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Oh good, they're both actually gonna die next turn. So I'm gonna get like two extra cards into my deck. The big thing I need to worry about, of course, is that this guy is like getting his hyper death ray ready. 
Yeah, look at that. I mean, like, 38 damage. That's crazy. That's like basically a screw you, I win button. And I don't like that. Alright, let's get a little bit more energy. And there is not a damn thing I can do about any of that. Alright. Alright, I can't use all these cards anyway, so we'll get rid of the ones we can't do anything about. Uh, sure, we'll do a little bit of damage there. And we'll add an extra six poison. It's our best shot, really. Holy crap, I might actually beat this guy. Maybe. I don't have a good feeling about it, but it is theoretically possible. I mean, we are doing 32 damage of poison every single turn. So... Just might happen. Alright. Yeah, so we'll keep all that extra stuff for next turn, which is good. He is dying again due to poison. Awesome stuff. Alright, yeah. Oh, and I can, like, keep anything we save. That's good. Alright, let's see here. Do, like, Hyper Flying Knee of Death. Do him a little stabity stab. Oh, this is good. This is glorious. This is actually perfect. I think we've got the perfect build here, and I'm finally gonna kill this guy. Also, screw this guy, by the way. I just wanna... Just wanna emphasize that. I don't really know why I care about healing, so we're gonna get healed to full health anyway when this is over. But... It was good enough for me. Yes! New achievement. Alright. Let's see, what do we get here? We get Doppelganger. Ooh, next turn, draw X cards and gain X energy, and then you exhaust it. You know, that actually... That's not terrible. Like, that could work... Really good for us. I wonder what would happen if I upgraded it. Maybe or just get, like, the innate ability on it or something. Let's see. Deal 12 damage, discard all non-attack cards. Eh, that's not that great. You know what? I want to try this. Because we're still we're still in the learning phase of the game. We're trying to figure out what, like, the best stuff is. And that's good. Transfer any poison to a random enemy. Or we could upgrade and obtain a card. Or we could... Oh. Oh. You know what, that's actually probably the single most useful artifact we could have got there. Alright, here we go. We're in the beyond now. The final frontier. There is a shop right there. But if we go to it, we have to fight an elite enemy and we don't get to go to the fireplace. And Let's see here. There's one. There's two. And there's an elite enemy. Well, or we could go this way. So two. Three. Man, there's been a real dearth of... Uh, Upgrades. You know what? We should go and visit the merchant. So we will. I really hate these guys. Just wanna... Just wanna get that out there right now. I hate all of them. And I probably wanna kill this guy right off the bat. Because his explosion only gets more explosion-y the more we go. And, you know, that's generally pretty bad. You know what? That's... that'll do. Alright, so we get an extra card and an extra energy next turn. I can deal with that. Oh. Oh yeah. You know, now that I think about it, having a bunch of cards that have, uh, that like burn out immediately... Let's see here, what do we want? I'll take damage if I fight this. This guy's gonna die. Alright, so... Yeah, we'll flying me this guy in the face. And we'll apply more poison to this jerk face. Because, you know, he's a jerk face. And let's see, then we'll bane this guy. Good. Oh, right, we can also heal ourselves. And there we go. Good enough. So he dies. This guy will just we'll just sit and poison him, because we really don't need to do anything else. I don't even think he can attack me, really. I mean he probably can, but. You know, we don't have to worry about it. I don't know why I did that. It just seemed like a fun thing to do, so I did it. Yeah, look, see, he's just gonna get poisoned to death. Yeah, it looks like all he's doing is spiking himself more, so... There, good. That was easy. And I like it when life is actually easy to me for once. Instead of... Instead of being so hard and painful. You know what, that is actually strategically probably very useful to us. 
Probably. All right, Merchant Man, what do you got? Let's see. Discard any number of cards, then draw that many. Enemies with weak deal 50%. Di oh, so it basically makes that even stronger. Do we have any more poison? Hmm. I mean, that's actually not bad if we had any enemies that uh, did stuff. This is also okay. Upgrade all cards for the rest of combat. I want this, though. I don't think we have... In retrospect, that might have been a bad idea, because I don't even think we have any cards that really give us weak. Actually, we don't, do we? Nope. Alright, so that was a bit of a wasted relic. But I wanted it, dang gummit. And so I took it. And sometimes, sometimes that's just all you gotta do. Alright. Um, let's see here. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, work on that. And that doesn't really do anything. Good job. All right. Yeah, the poison will mostly take care of these guys. Mostly. Yeah, a little bit more noxious fumes. Uh, I guess, uh, fight. Do I want to deadly poison more of them? I mean, that would finish the job faster. So I guess I will. Gonna take a bunch of damage here, though, which I don't like as much. But you gotta do what you gotta do, man. And I guess this is what we gotta do. Alright, so we start off by backflipping. Uh, we neutralize this guy so he can't do as much damage to us. And then we uh, we bite this guy because he's not very nice. And we hit this guy because he's also not very nice. And that's all we've got. All right. So now we just need to kill this guy real quick, like, before these guys regenerate because they've got this whole lifelink thing here. This is an interesting kind of uh, fight to have, honestly. In my opinion. Let's see, let's get some more... No more bite? Okay. Kinda hoping for some more bites for some more free healing, but... No, don't, uh, don't press your luck. And, yeah, I'm not gonna take any of those, because we don't want our cards... Our deck to swell up into disgusting proportions. Oh no! Hopping from one floating shape to another, you begin to fall. Oh dear. Oh, come on! Oh boy. Uh, no. No. Alright, I guess... I paid money for this. No, I didn't. We got it in a... in a hand. Man, that's just like a straight up bad event, isn't it? I don't like that. Let's see here. You constantly find yourself losing your way, whispering... or whispering voices. Let's see. We either receive madness... Or we become cursed. We... Oh, but we do heal energy, so... What the heck? Why not? Of course, there's no way to get rid of that now, is there? Oh, well, it, it shouldn't ruin our play. Ah, oh, crapple. It shouldn't ruin us too badly. Hopefully. It might ruin us. I might have doomed us all, actually. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we get this at the beginning anyway. So being able to do an extra 15 damage, but then again doing an extra 17 to all energy or enemies is probably pretty good, especially because later on in the game we do seem to run into multiple enemies more often. What the hell is this? Nemesis. I feel like I've heard stories about you, and they weren't good stories. All right. All right, some noxious fumes, a little bit of, uh... All right, so just nine damage, that's not bad. All right. Did I use another weak potion? I think I will, because this is an elite enemy. We probably want to keep him weak for as long as possible. Oh dear, what is this? Uh, reduces all damage taken to one. I see. Well, we can still poison them. 
And yeah, we want this. So he's going to do 9 damage. Let's see if we can get some more block going in here. There we go. Alright, so that's only going to do 1 damage, so no point using it this turn. And it's reapplied every other turn. Okay. That's, uh... That's something, ain't it? But then again, that's... Every time he does that, that's a turn that he's not using to hurt us, so... That's probably in our best interest. I probably should have used this as well. That would have been very smart. But our poison is... Whoa! You didn't tell me you were gonna do that. That's a... That's a new one. Uh, okay. Well, that sucks. But we are poisoning him to death, so that's good. In fact, I mostly feel like we're actually getting on top of this. Might want to use this again. Alright, so far- yeah, look at that, look at that. See, this guy... I mean, the burn that's coming out of nowhere is kind of- kind of sucks, but... Other than that... I just- no. No, I don't- I don't just use that. Also, idiot, you should have used your weak potion. Doesn't matter if you survive or if, you know, to use it on the boss if you're just gonna end up dead anyway. Holy hell, 40 damage. Oh, but he's dead anyway, so... Let's try to get as many bite cards as possible so we can... Yeah. You know what, what the heck, I'll even stab him. I'll hit him a couple of times, just because I can. Makes me feel big. You know what, that wasn't so bad. Wasn't great. But, uh, it wasn't bad. Yes, finally! Been waiting to get that all... All damn game. Okay, let's see here. A lot of, uh, let's see here. So if we go up this way, we go... Fire... Mystery... Enemy... Mystery... Enemy... Mystery. Or if we go this way, it's... Uh... Chest... Enemy... Fire... Mystery... Mystery... Enemy... Fire. Yeah, we gotta go to the energy... Or to the resty spot first, so that might be... In our best interest. Ah, heck. Alright, let's, uh... Kill these guys quickly, shall we? And nobody is poisoned, so that's not really gonna help us. Alright, so he's dead. Did a little bit of damage to us. Uh, can't kill him this turn, so we might as well use this. And might as well heal a little bit. Alright. I could use fire to blow him up. I might want to use fire to blow him up, actually. Might have helped against the boss, but better to get these monsters out of the way sooner rather than later, huh? That's what I say. Okay. Let's see, a bit of deadly, deadly poison on you, and then we'll just kind of bite you to death over here. Oh, you're already dead. Well, isn't that special? Then we don't actually have any energy to use the catalyst, so now we just kind of sit here and wait for him to die of poison. Not... not bad, says I. I mean, overall, we... we handled that about as well as you could expect, probably. Did we need the energy? Not really, but I'm totally going for it. Alright, so he is now going to die next turn. Biting him does nothing, so obviously we won't do that. We'll get a net loss and that would be bad. There's a dodecahedron there in the background. And, yeah. I mean, this is tempting simply because of how much block we get, but I want to keep our deck small. I mean, look how well we're doing by not having a deck. Oh, look at that. Regular enemy combatants are no longer encountered in mystery rooms. And a bag of preparation. Even more cards. That's good. All right. I'm going to... Let's see here. Should I? This could be dangerous. Could be very dangerous. Hmm. Well, if we die, we die. I think the extra energy is our best bet. Yeah, at least we don't have to fight enemies here. Oh, you just said they're- oh, right. 
Okay, I was gonna say. Sorry, sorry game. Sorry for misjudging you there. Ah, oh, hell. Well, we're dead. No, that's, that's quitter talk. We're not dead. Not yet. We're probably dead, though. You know, in a... In a very, very soon-like fashion. I think I might want to kill this guy first, actually. It might, well, it, it might actually be a bit of a, you know, a bit of a mixed bag there. Poison is our only shot at killing this guy, so that's what we're gonna... That's what we're gonna do. And get rid of that. Alright, good. So we'll save this for next turn. Which means this turn we'll be able to focus on killamajigging all these bad guys. Yeah, I should have focused on killing him sooner. 12 damage when we kill him is pretty bad. But not terrible. Alright, save that. A little bit of that. Got... Dang it, I can't actually kill this guy this turn. Not good. Or dazed. Okay, I probably need to kill this repulsor thing. But I gotta kill this thing really fast too. In fact, this thing's gotta die this turn. Ah, hell, I'm even gonna... Take 20 damage. Not good. I have made some mistakes in my life. I don't mind admitting that. That was one of them. Alright. Ah, hell. Hell in a cell here. We've got... Nothing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But I can weaken him. Aha! I don't really know why I did that. I just felt like I needed to do something. Great. Sensational. I really should have healed. I know, I know. Save your, uh, save your breath, my friends. I, I know what I should have done. Alright. Well, I can heal. Let's see here. It's gonna do 10 damage. So I can make this a net one for me. So I will. Alright, I mean, the poison's what's gonna get him. We're, we're never breaking through this. Never in a million years. Alright. I mean, well, that's, you know, that's not true. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be relying on such quitter talk, should I? So we could totally somehow get through that. Alright. Yeah, and look, we're even healing up a little bit. Eh, why not? Just in case. If we do manage to break through that, that would actually be helpful. Oh yeah, look at that. See, he's dead. He's totally dead. More bites, please. Awesome. So we can heal ourselves a little bit of, a little bit of health here. And uh, no, you know what? What the heck? I just want to see it. Oh, right. I mean, 21 poison, not bad. Now imagine if we had multiple catalysts, and there are not multiple catalysts here. So skip that, move forward. All right, so we have to survive one more fight after this. But after that, we're good. Ooh, a whetstone. All right. And or it shall come. If you end your turn without block, gain six block. That doesn't feel as useful as it could be. Like, if it, it was like, if you have no block at the end of your turn, get like, 10 block. That might be a bit more useful. Alright. Let's see here. Noxious fumes. Uh... Crapple. Maybe I should have healed. Alright. But the noxious fumes are what's really gonna... Really gonna save us here. I am probably dead. I feel like I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm probably dead. But we came close. We're, we've come closer than we've ever come before. Ah, hell. Are you kidding me? Not a single... Not a single... Heal, huh? No, there's no way I'm killing that. That'd be nice. Oh, wait. I get six block just because we had the turn five block. Okay, so that... It is gonna come in handy now and then. I suppose. Ow. No, we're definitely dead. My strategy was almost... It was almost perfection. But then I kinda, you know, screwed it up. Okay, this guy's dead. 
But then we're gonna have to kill these guys really fast. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull that off. Well, I mean, we've got two turns to kill this guy, so I guess it's workable. But at the same time, I am like really, really scared about our chances here. All right, actually, if I catalyst that, then he's dead this turn. If I bite him, he is also dead this turn. Well, we survived, look at that. We're like the greatest Slay the Spire player of all time. You know, except for all those people who are better than us. You know, that's not terrible, but again, it's not, it's not good enough to meet my standards. There's also virtually no way we're surviving this. But we'll try. What the hell is this? It's a Deca and a Danu. Okay, so Danu, Donut, Deca, Decahedron. I got you. I got you, dog. All right, uh, backstab. Survivor. Get rid of Rife. Bit of Blur. Um, deadly, Deadly Poison, just so we can get rid of that. Uh, flying Knee, and then Bite to the Face. Bite to the Face. And also Explosion. Deadly, Deadly Explosion. I mean, we, we get one chance if we... If we survive, or if we die once, we get a revival, so that's, that's a plus. Um, this is not the best, uh, the best, uh, we've ever had as far as, yeah, this guy seems to mostly do damage, so I figure killing him is probably in our best interest. Or is it better to kill this guy? Because this guy, I think, is giving a, giving up more strength, isn't he? Yes! Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. Hell's Teeth. Hell's Teeth, I said. Not good. Wow, 34 damage. That's actually pretty good. Noxious Fumes. A little bit of that. Uh, extra Slice to you. I mean, maybe it would have been better to kill this guy first. But then again, this guy mostly seems to... Guy mostly seems to do the whole like stat thingy, so we'll see. I mean, poison is our best shot. I hate you. I hate you so much. Okay, so yeah, there is. There's no way I'm surviving this. So I might as well. Well, I, I kind of have to go in. I have to go all in anyway, don't I? So. Oh wait, I no, I know I'm still gonna die. Right. So much energy and nothing to use it on. That's the real shame here. All right, so we're back. They're still being poisoned. Do I want a catalyst yet? Ah, hell. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, that's 20, 38 damage right there, isn't it? Yeah, we, uh... We dead, friends. We're dead. There's, there's no way. There's just no way. Yeah. Well, we tried. That's all that counts at the end of the day, I suppose. Okay, this guy is not actually gonna die at the end of this. Okay, that lowers it to 18, so we're still- Oh wait, no, 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 we're not dead. We're not dead. We're gonna survive, he's gonna mostly die. Okay, he's definitely dead next turn. I hate all these, uh, dazed cards we're getting. Yeah, cause I'm... Yeah. I... I don't think we're surviving this one. Yeah, yeah, we can't even block one... One of that, so... We're dead, but we kinda got there. In retrospect, maybe... Well, no, because I wouldn't have even been able to kill this guy. I, I mean, I guess if we had had more poison, we might have been able also, what? Well, yes, it was inconceivable. Stupid dodecahedron donut thing. Look at him and his waffly little tubular things there. I hate him so much. I hate you so much, donut. I hope you know that. Collector, huh? Have four copies of any non-starter card. Cool. Cloak and Dagger, gain six block, add one shiv to your hand. That sounds okay. 
Shibs deal free additional damage. That doesn't actually sound good enough, in my opinion. And discard your hand, add one shift to your hand for each card discarded. That might be useful, actually. You know, if we had like 10 million cards. But anyway, that's where we leave off for now. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I hate you so much. That guy, that is, the donut. And I, yeah, don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.